Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's fourth video. Going to have a look at the weather for the next week to 10 days for today's fourth video. So day 10 is going to take us to around the 8th of August. We'll be able to extend out beyond that. It says GFS and ECM ensembles and may run around a couple of weeks. And we'll have a look at CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks. That's going to take us well into the second half of August. I shall get on that for you in a second. Just say that the first video really saves our 7 a.m. forecast. We also release the uh, European Outlook as well as a look at Jamie season one as well. So it's been a busy day at Gaz Weather today. Please like, share, subscribe on all the videos and so to do that. We have hit 11.6k by the way. So uh, now we're starting to grind to 11.7k and eventually we are going to get ourselves to 12k. So please give us a sub if you'd like to do that. Thank you so much uh, everyone. Right, we're going to start off with the uh, Met Office Twitter account because we've got a name storm. Maybe like midsummer, but nevertheless we've got a name storm here to deal with. So uh, this was uh, tweeted by UK Met. Uh, a while ago, hashtag Storm Evert, I think that's right, has been named and is forecast to bring unseasonably strong winds and heavy rain to southern parts of the UK uh, later today and into Friday. Hashtag weather aware. Uh, so let's have a look at this then. Show your nice little animation, as they always do, uh, to have a look at. So uh, here it comes. There it is. Storm, I think that's Evert, but it might be Eva. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. So here it comes anyway. Uh, D Opening light mad to the southwest of the country and uh, into the uh, UK it comes 45 to 55 mile per hour gusts uh, on the coast and hills. Uh, it was a little bit more to read, so I'll have to wait for the animation to replay uh, again. But yeah, it looks quite nasty. 50 mile an hour gusts in the middle of summer when the trees are in full leaf. You know, that could, that could bring down uh, branches, definitely, possibly bring down trees uh, as well. It looks like a nasty little low, but has been developed a lot. 65 centimetre mile per hour gusts across Cornwall. Wow, that's reaching severe gale force uh, for Cornwall. Um, that's incredible, isn't it, for like midsummer. Um, and this, you know, wasn't much of a feature like two or three days ago. It has really been uh, deepened dramatically over the past uh, over the past day or so, I think, the forecast for this system. So it looks quite nasty, doesn't it? And it's going to give a real blow to both southern southwest areas and a lot of heavy rain as well so uh, so not great and uh, take care anybody who's out and about like tonight or tomorrow morning of course the folks who are camping at camp festival as well uh, the festival that we've been forecasting for it does look pretty nasty that so take care anyone who's out and about camping or so on um you know look after yourself tonight tomorrow it could be very wet down in the south and southwest country and very windy too gale or severe gale force winds around those southern southwestern uh, coast. Right, okay, so let's have a look at the central temperature. Event. So I thought this had come down a little bit by now, uh, actually. So the CET is uh, still standing at 18.6 uh, at the moment. That's an anomaly of 2.6 degrees above average. That is provisional to uh, yesterday, to the 28th of uh, of uh, July. So um, I thought that would be around 18.5 now. I know we're going to get like a big down correction anyway of like 0.5 or 0.6 per degree. We're going to shave half a degree off the CET over the next, uh, you know, over the next um, uh, day, days or so as we get to the end of the month. We're going to shave that off. So I thought, you know, that would be down to 18.5 uh, by now. There we go, the highlighters finally decided to start working. Uh, I've up down to 18.5 by now. And uh, and so, you know, uh, taking into account down scratch, we'd probably be at 17.9 uh, today. But actually, we're probably there still at around 18, uh, to be honest. So I think we're probably still at around 18. Uh, point zero, but I still can't really see any way that we can keep this in the 18 because I think this is going to drop. You know, we're going to shave 0.2, 0.3 of a degree off, and then with the big down correction again this month, I still think this is going to finish up like in the in the mid to upper 17. So again, 17.7 is probably about where uh, this is going to finish. But it will be interesting to see. We'll find out on Sunday, of course, where that's uh, coming in. 
Right, these are the GFS up rare temperature and precipitation ensembles. Next couple of weeks on Cambridge today. So red light is a 30-year upper air temperature average for Cambridge. And we're starting off below average for the next week, 10 days. We're going to keep those upper air temperatures at or below uh, normal. Now, as we go towards the middle of August, it looks like we have got some indications of a bit of a warm-up starting to take place then. Albeit, it's a long way out. They're outlier members. But there are quite a few of them today that are lifting those upper air temperatures up uh, around the middle part of all. So we might start to see something uh, a little bit warmer taking place as we get into the middle of August. But solidly for the first week, 10 days of August, it does look pretty cool. I've been saying in videos a lot over the past few days. And precipitation-wise, regular rainfall spikes coming through, so it is going to be unsettled as well as, you know, having a regular... Uh, it's going to be unsettled with regular bouts of rain and showers as well as being quite cool. Temperature anomalies from the 29th of July to 6th of August is going to be around or a little bit below average. Precipitation anomalies from 29th of July to 6th of August is going to be drier and average in the north, a little bit wetter and average in the south and in the southeast. The latest wind blow map from EarthNoldSchool.net shows that low pressure is in control. We've got a large area of low pressure to our north and northeast. So we've got a more secondary area of low pressure to the southwest. That's the one that's been named by the UK Met and is going to bring all of the wet and windy weather tonight and into tomorrow tomorrow across central southern parts of England and Wales. Right, let's go through the uh, chart data then. So I'm going to work out back on this. Hello, I've returned. Right, so go through the uh, UK Met first of all. So that's how UK Met is looking for midnight on Sunday. It's from Weather Outlook, by the way. Uh, cool and showery with northerly winds. Into the early part of next week, again, a ridge begins to build in off the Atlantic. That turns us a little bit drier under that ridge, but will still be quite cool as the wind coming around that ridge is still from a northerly direction. A little bit less signs of low pressure coming in off the Atlantic uh, in a week around middle of next week. So yesterday there was an indication that the middle of the week might turn wet and windy. Slightly fewer signs of that um, today. But I think there is like a trough that's beginning to form uh, within the 500 millibar flow there in the UK. So it's not turning wet and windy perhaps middle of next week on this uh, UK Met run. But it might be starting to turn a little bit showering. Uh, this is how the uh, midnight run looks. So again, we're in this cool and showery northwesterly wind on uh, Sunday. That lasts into the early part of next week. And we do build up a little bit of a ridge from the southwest in the early part of next week as well. Uh, then the ridge begins to weaken slightly through the middle of next week as lower pressure begins to come in. It takes a little while to start bringing in this low pressure. But eventually later on next week, in comes the low. So this low has been delayed. It's like going to arrive around uh, Wednesday to Thursday. Now it's sort of Friday to Saturday, I think, um, next week. But it is still coming in from off the Atlantic. It looks generally still quite unsettled up to day 10 uh, with low pressure in control. Try to raise heights a little bit there around the 9th of August, just beyond day 10. It doesn't really come off, though. Uh, another low comes in from the northwest. That means a further bout of showery rain and quite cool northwesterly winds. And it just stays pretty unsettled with west northwesterlies right way up to the end of GFS midnight run, which today gets us to Saturday, the 14th of August. But 6Z looks like this again, northerly wings bring showers on Sunday and then into the early part of next week just a little bit of a ridge building up from the southwest perhaps turning things slightly drier for the early part of uh, next week with 6Z and then a trough moves in from northwest not a particularly deep area of low pressure a trough moving in from the northwest um, into the second half next week bring showers with it if not uh, you know spells of rain doesn't look overly unsettled at day 10 actually with the 6Z this is the 8th of August with high pressure to our south and low pressure away to the northwest, so it doesn't look overly unsettled in the south anyway. It is quite unsettled though up in the north. And the extended range of this GFS run is really building up some higher pressure. It actually, goes back to much warmer weather into the second week of August. So here we go. Higher pressure begins to reform with GFS 6M. We get a nice ridge developing uh, through northern and western Europe there. That's Wednesday the 11th of August. That's turning pretty warm, I think actually, and mainly dry uh, again. Could even be turning hot, you know, as we go uh, towards the middle part of uh, August. We are bringing up the 15, plus 15 cells of ice from there into more southern parts of the country. So the 6th day gets back to very warm, maybe quite hot weather in the second week of August. It might be an outlier 
Um, we'll have to wait and see. But certainly, first we've seen for a little while, but so going very warm to hot again. So that'll raise some uh, eyebrows and some interest, I'm sure, at the end of the GFS 6 m for 14th of August. Again, we've still got the ridge close to us, actually, but it's a little bit cooler under that ridge. Right, the GM looks like this. Again, rather showery on uh, Sunday. Winds in from the north through the early part of next week. Uh, again, the GM is looking pretty uh pretty showery there not not as settled as like the gfs output i don't think and actually in the second half next week bring mist low in from off the atlantic so the gm is quite unsettled uh particularly in the second half of next week with low pressure in control and that low pressure sits around the country up to day 10 so at this point you know the gfs 6 said is building up the azores high again um the gm not interested in that at all it just has under this area of low pressure a lot of uncertainty now uh coming in for around day seven eight nine and ten if you enjoyed this video please don't use smash the like button make sure you subscribe to our channel because that's good buddy uh for doing that drop a comment and let us know uh what you think right the ecm uh, looks like that again rather showering and pretty cool on sunday those rather cool and showery conditions continue into the early part of next week uh as well and then through the second half of next week in comes low pressure for off the atlantic so the gm and the ecm are actually more unsettled than the gfs output today uh particularly for the second half of next week and that looks like quite a deep area of low pressure doesn't it up the end of next week will bring quite a bit of rain with it and uh, cool temperatures as well and up to day 10 in comes the next low or the next low is threatened to come in anyway uh at day 10 which is the 8th of august this is the precipitation forecast based on that ecm run from tometro.com here's this nasty low coming up tonight this developed so much over the past uh day or two this is a really nasty area of low pressure now uh storm Everett, i think um that's going to bring plenty of rain overnight uh, tonight and into tomorrow as well as those strong winds as well and then into weekend it's basically a case of sunshine and showers really early next week we do still keep showery weather going but there will be drier periods too before low pressure starts piling with the second half next week bringing a bit of a deluge with it lots of heavy rain and pretty strong winds coming in with that that's how long we get to day 10 and just slightly transient ridge but more low pressure wet weather is waiting in the wings in the atlantic so the ecm definitely very unsettled today remember gfs output especially for six head not as unsettled as that though these are the options on the table then the ecm ensemble today for day 10 from the icelandic met office gets us to the 8th of august 16 members of the ecm ensemble with deep low pressure over top of uk and much of uh, western york so that was very unsettled indeed 14 again with low pressure over the uk at uh, nine with low pressure over uk again uh, seven low pressure over to western uk and five with low pressure over the uk so all the ecm ensemble options are low pressure dominated and unsettled or very unsettled at day 10 and in two weeks time these are the options that we've got and it will get us to the 13th of august 17 members of the ecm ensemble to have low pressure over to the north of the country with high pressure around greenland so obviously that looks quite unsettled with winds in from the west 13 will have high pressure over top of the country and low pressure uh, towards iceland that's going to be a drier a rather warmer option uh 12 just here with high pressure over to the north that will be a little bit drier could be quite warm as well winds in from uh, the east and then nine with high pressure to our west and a bit of a shallow trough over top of the coach we may start be seeing signs of going back to higher pressure for the middle of august it's not going to be an immediate process but we could start to to be seeing indications anyway of higher pressure and warmer dry conditions for the middle of august so it may not be done with us yet everyone right let's have a look at cfs and then we're done so these are 500 millibar heights breaking down into weekly periods the first week period takes us from the 29th of july to the 4th of august the coming week will be dominated by low pressure across northern and western europe it'll be combined with the mid-atlantic ridge up towards greenland so very cool and very unsettled of course in week head and week two is going to be the 5th through to the 11th of august again with deep low pressure over top of uk and much of western europe are also looking very unsettled with spells of rain lightning and cool temperatures too week three is a 12th to the 18th of august again with low pressure over to the east of the country combined with some higher pressure within the normal latitudes blocking so a uh, jet stream is sent southwards a little bit that looks very unsettled and quite cool as well and then week four shows a change this is the 19th 25th of august all the low pressure goes away and high pressure returns and that will bring in much drier and warmer maybe even hotter 
the weather as we go through that third week of August. So, you know, a lot of people have been expecting and speculating that, that this August is going to be a write-off from beginning to end. It's not necessarily going to pan out like that. And although we are going to have a very unsettled and quite cool and wet start to uh, August, certainly cool and showery start to August, you know, we could find ourselves going back to higher pressure in the middle or second half of the month and drier, warmer conditions uh, returning, at least for a while. We shall see, and time will tell, of course. Right, so if you enjoyed this video, then please can you smash your like button. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Uh, tell your friends and family to subscribe as well. And drop a comment and let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. It's amazing. It's incredible. Thank you so much for doing that. As I say, we hit 11.6k uh, yesterday. Uh, and now we are on the grind to 11.7k and ultimately to 12,000 subscribers. What an amazing number uh, that is um yeah so we'll wait and see how long it takes us to get to, get to 11.7k please give us something if you'd like to do that right that's it for the videos for today tomorrow we're gonna have uh we're going to start off 7 a.m broadcast course We'll have the European Outlook uh, tomorrow. No, we won't. We'll have the EC uh, 30, 46 day forecast this week. Look at um, tomorrow. We're getting mixed up with what we're doing. Uh, it's, so that will not be on Saturday morning, but this coming Saturday, we'll be doing the season model roundup for autumn 2021, the second one of those. So it means we've got to push the, uh, we've got to push the six weeks. Look at the ECM to Friday. So that will be coming up for you tomorrow, as well as JMA Friday as well. So proper sort of long range uh, special coming up tomorrow. Um, and also a 10 to 14 day as well. Well, so it will be a busy day uh, tomorrow. Every day is a busy day at Gaz Uh and that's what's uh, on the way tomorrow. You enjoy the rest of your Thursday, uh, and for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.